when you watch football today, is it is it different? Like, do you, do you think it's gone down a different road, different path? Uh, I think and everybody is, who played the game, I think everybody who played the game, and probably a good bit of people who have always been avid fans, watchers, remember the days that I'm talking about, remember the days that I played in, and now the present days, would say that it's different. But I think the human nature side of it, I say it's different and it's not as good. I'm sure when I was playing, the, the guys that played before me said, man, football's soft these days. It, it ain't like it used to be. I'm sure that that's a given with every generation. But, and I think the, the rule modifications to protect players is a step in the right direction. Doesn't help me any. Doesn't help. It's not out. at the expense of the game, though. You don't think these rules, no, like the flags, and the front. I think um, some things are very vague. Uh, that uh, pass interference, uh, hitting the quarterback. I mean, I'm not saying a quarterback needs to be hit, but he needs to be a little more. Uh, I don't know the, the exact word, but uh, disposable, maybe. Uh, not not completely, but a little bit. The, 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 and I think that they got what they asked for, the league. Uh, they want scoring. People don't want to see. I, I assume they don't want to see six to three like the Giants and the Bears with Ray, uh, with, with uh, Bill Parcells and Mike Dick are going against each other and defensive just grind it out. Uh, those, they don't want to see that. They want to see 48, 45. They want to see triple overtime. They want to see, you know, exciting scores, great throws and great catches. Um, uh, and, and so I do, I do think the, the core of what made football so lovable and traditional and prideful. We've lost some of that, uh, maybe a lot of that. I, I agree. I th- probably my readers and listeners are tired of me, you know, beating this dead horse. But I, I think the more flags you throw, the more fines you levy, the more bureaucratic you make the rule book where players out there don't even know what the hell they can do when they arrive at the quarterback, right, to for a sack. I mean, watching the Bills Jaguars game in London, it's like it blows my head. What's Jordan Boyer supposed to do on that play? Right? It's a bang bang play. He can't just vanish out of thin air. There's no way he can there's no way he can he can pull off. And he's probably gonna get a big five. Which is unbelievable. Which is I mean, you're losing football. You you're everything we're talking about, this being a attrition and it's not for everybody, and that's a good thing. Right, the fact that we kind of look at you as these modern day gladiators, that's what we're drawn to. Absolutely. I think that's a key component to all this is not everybody can do it. Not everybody can be a, uh, a Navy SEAL. You know, there's a lot of people who want to be, want to be a badass, want to, you know, want, want that tag with their name. You know, you know, I, I graduated from SEAL school. Or I'm right tackle for the Cleveland Browns. You know, there's a lot of people who want that, but only a few can do it. Uh, everyone's free to try, but only a few can do it. Only a few can be, and all, of those few that do it, only a handful do it great. And only a handful of those are, are less than a handful do it great for a long time. So it's a small, small fraternity to begin with. A big one to start with because a lot of people want. But it's condensed down as it gets tougher. And that's kind of what's made it what it is and why people love it so much. I'm okay with protecting players. But you're losing that foundation to me somewhat. Which they're printing money. I mean, the the ratings are through the roof. Everybody's gambling. It's which is hilarious to me. You know, the NFL frowned upon that upon that for 
yeah, decades, God. and now they're wrapping their loving arms around gambling, fantasy football. So, I mean, money usually drives decisions, but I, at what at what point does does it snap? Because it, it's turning into something other than football. I, I don't know what that would would be. I nobody wants to see players carted off, right? But, and motionless, but I think all players that step onto the field, they, they know there's this element of risk. Uh, hell, I blew my mind talking to Isaiah McKenzie last year about the DeMar Hamlin game in Cincinnati. He's like, most guys wanted to play. I mean, which is crazy to me. That's the e- extreme case, obviously. But there is uh, an element of risk with the sport that they're siphoning out, I think. Watching these games every you know, weekend, they're, they're siphoning out the that risk. Yet- what the league is today, or actually what it's to be going to, is flag football with, with pads, if that makes sense. Uh, just uh, I, to say it's like Cirque du Soleil in, in Vegas. Uh, big, big, big. It's way bigger than that but because money, no, no. Think for a second, it's not money that drives all these decisions. Um, that's why the, the league didn't want to touch the concussion. If, if you were to ask an executive about concussions, um, they would, they would say no comment or we're working towards a solution. Uh, so money drives practically every decision in the league. 